Hello and welcome to Common Sense TV. I'm your host, E.T. Williams, the doctor of common sense and America's anchor man. Now I want you to pay close attention to this video because I'm going to show you a couple of things. I'm going to show you some of the mistakes that the former president Donald Trump made, who technically is supposed to be still the current president, but I'm going to show you some things and I'm going to show you why in politics your motto should be trust no one. The CIA and former CIA director Mike Pompeo were sued Monday for spying on U.S. lawyers and journalists who met with Julian Assange while he was living in the Ecuadorian embassy in London where he had political asylum. Verify everything. Don't trust anyone. Donald Trump hired Mike Pompeo as his CIA director. Then he was the secretary of state. He's just as dirty as Hillary Clinton. Mike Pompeo once called Donald Trump authoritarian, and Donald Trump still hired him. This is the same mistake that Donald Trump thought that he can hire Mitch McConnell's wife as the transportation secretary. He left uh, James Comey on too long, McMaster's on too long. He got Nikki Haley, who hated him also. Now, let me show you something. Now, don't get mad at me. For me exposing how dirty Mike Pompeo is. And by the way, Mike Pompeo said he wants to run for president. He don't care if Donald Trump is running. If he decided he's the one who should be the nominee. I'd rather, I rather I would rather uh, cut off my own arm than support Mike Pompeo. Now I'm going to show you how Mike Pompeo was spying on Americans. I don't care if they are left as Americans. He was the head of the CIA and they spied on Americans who were visiting uh, Julian Assange. On Monday, several plaintiffs in the lawsuit spoke during an online news conference. This is Deborah Herbeck. She's a media lawyer who visited Assange at the Ecuadorian embassy in London several times to discuss sensitive legal matters. On arrival, there was a strict protocol for the protection of Julian, we were told. Passports, mobile phones, cameras, laptops, recording devices, and other electronic equipment were turned over to the security guards in the lobby. We learned much later, through a criminal investigation under the supervision of a court in Spain, that while visitors like me were meeting with Julian in the embassy conference room, the guards next door were taking apart our phones, removing and photographing SIM cards, and we believe downloading data from our electronic equipment. Their boss, David Morales from UC Global, who appears to have been recruited by the CIA through associates of Sheldon Adelson during a visit to a tech conference. They were planning on killing Julia Saad. I don't know if you knew that or not, but the documents show that Mike Pompeo and the CIA, when he was working for Donald Trump, was planning on assassinating Julia Assad. Now, what's Julian Assange's crime? Because if you said he released classified in information, let's go down the list. Hillary, James Comey, Andrew McKay, you didn't try to assassinate them. But I want you also to think of something. If Mike Pompeo is willing to go spy on Americans who's visiting Julian Assange in another country, why didn't Mike Pompeo do something about spying on Hunter Biden and Joe Biden. Why did Mike Pompeo not expose to Donald Trump all the things that the CIA and the FBI was doing to Donald Trump when they were undermine, un undermining him? That tells me Mike Pompeo is on their side. Now, fat Mike Pompeo, who's lost weight now, and in a video I have, I want you to look how small his hands is. For him to be such a big man, he has very, very little hands. And in the video, Mike Pompeo says, uncategorically, he was the head of the CIA. They're trained to lie. They're, they're trained to steal. You can't trust anything they say. This is his words, not mine. Having said that, not all tough places are the same. They each present a different set of challenges. I, I, uh, it reminds me, you would know this, but as a, this is a bit of an aside. Uh, but in terms of how you think about problem sets, I, when I was a cadet, What's the first, what's the cadet motto at West Point? You will not lie, cheat, or steal, or tolerate those who do. I, I, I was the CIA director. We lied, we cheated, we steal, and stole. It's, it was like, we, we, had, we, had entire, we had entire training courses. Uh, it, uh, 
it, it, it reminds you of the, uh, uh, the glory of the American experiment. So one has to come to the conclusion that the CIA director is corrupt. Now, everybody's saying Julian Assange is a criminal, but Barack Obama gave immunity to Chelsea Manley, the one who gave him the damn documents to prove our government was killing innocent people. Well, Margaret, did we have any indication that the president was going to do this? Well, we knew President Obama was going to leave office with uh, an expected slew of pardons and commutations. The White House is very proud at pointing to the fact that he has commuted more sentences uh, than the last 11 presidents combined. However, when it comes to the case of Chelsea Manning in particular, this was a surprise. This is a lightning rod case, as, as you can imagine, uh, particularly given uh, the response so far, not only from Pentagon officials, but from Republicans, including House Speaker. Paul Ryan. To prove our government is corrupt, Julian Assange is a, is a criminal to these people because he exposed their lies. It, what they're trying to say is that Julian Assange printed information that a person who was working or was, was in the military did, and that person went free because he got a sex change. Chelsea Manning. But why is Julian Assange the criminal? What they did is that some some security for, uh, firm that they hired in Spain, the CIA got them to spy on Americans who visit, visited Julian Assad. This is what they do. They got you to turn over all your electronic wear. If you're going to ever go visit any kind of government of facility, don't leave your phones and computers at the house. Don't bring them with you. Because if you turn them over to them, the CIA will get the data off there. This is the same thing that um, Joe Biden's administration did to Donald Trump when they went into Mar-a-Lago. Uh, any documents in there, and I bet you any kind of way that the CIA has a way to take any kind of computer while they're there on location, I'm sure they can uh, extract the data out of there. So what happened to Julian Assange, when they visit the embassy, the CIA hired some security firm, I think a Spanish security firm to get the data off the lawyers phones and computers when they had to turn them in because they couldn't take them in there and they extracted that data by spying on Americans this is what Mike Pompey who wants to be the president now he's just as dirty as Mike Pence make no mistake about it one of the the faults that Donald Trump had is that he had too many enemies that were still working Mike Pompey cannot be trusted any former CIA director can't be trusted. And this is the fellow who wants to be president now. Now, they said that they were planning on extraditing Julian Assange. What's the crime again? These folks have no type of uh, principles. They will break every law. What, what law did Julian Assange break? He was given data. He's not the first one that printed this kind of data, by the way. But for some reason, they won't hear me. The US and UK are happy to talk about political prisoners abroad, but they've created a political prisoner of their own. At every stage, the law has been abused in order to victimize Julian. He has been silenced. He has been disappeared. The last time Julian was allowed to attend his own court hearing was in January 2021. Every time he's requested to be there in person, those requests have been denied. Julian did nothing wrong. He exposed war crimes, war crimes committed by known individuals. Those who committed the war crimes or responsible for those war crimes have not been held accountable. Julian is in prison because WikiLeaks is a publisher that specializes in the secrets that states keep the most hidden. Julian revealed war crimes by the US government, the world's superpower in Iraq and Afghanistan, and the fact that it had normalized, institutionalized torture. And that superpower took revenge. The position of the UK right now is that it will extradite a publisher to the country that conspired to murder him. How can the UK government even contemplate the extradition of the man who the US was trying to assassinate? This assassination plot was as revenge for what WikiLeaks had published. When I read the story, I was relieved in a way because this is the reality that Julian has been facing. They were planning on kidnapping him. This is a fact that they were planning on kidnapping and assassinating Julia Assange. This is Mike Pompey. So if you think that 
All of this, all the stuff that happened to Donald Trump, Mike Pompeo was the head of the CIA, Secretary of State. You mean to tell me he didn't know what was going on? Are you freaking kidding me? Mike Pompeo is one of the problems. Donald Trump had too many. Now he, all the conservatives are passing Mike Pompeo around as if he could be trusted. He's just as dirty as Herbert Bush. He used to be the former CIA director too. He's just as dirty as anybody working for Biden administration right now. And so you want me to believe what Mike Pompeo is saying. Now, oh, I forgot to mention, if you didn't get a copy of this book, Guaranteed Freedom, Victory and Success Through the Lord Jesus Christ, Amazon, the website, commonsensenation.net, or you can get it at Barnes and Nobles. Please get a copy of our book because this is about spiritual warfare. Mike Pompeo can't be trusted. Spiritual warfare. The mind, we're trying to teach you here at the University of Common Sense. We're trying to teach you how to think and not be a clone, not a clone for the Republicans or the Democrats. You got to learn how to start thinking. Just the lawsuit is being filed as Britain prepares to extradite the WikiLeaks founder to the United States, where he faces up to 175 years in prison for violating the Espionage Act by publishing classified documents exposing U.S. war crimes in Iraq and Afghanistan. Assange spent nearly seven years inside the embassy from 2012 till April 2019. Now, what we want you to also understand is that. Under Mike Pompeo, not only did they take the devices of, they say up to 100 Americans, some lawyers or whatever, up to 100. What they also, what Mike Pompeo got them to also do is um, at the Ecuadorian embassy, what Mike Pompeo got them to do is place microphones, some type of recording devices inside the embassy. Isn't that some kind of international crime? I mean, I'm not up in international law, but... That seems to me all kind of violation inside an embassy, Mike Pompeo and his CIA, until this Spanish uh, security firm's contract was canceling, Mike Pompeo and our CIA were spying on Americans. They say it's up to 100. But my question is, what laws did Julian Assad break? And what? who was hurt because of what Julian Assad did? Did anybody die? What Julian Assange said, they're going after Julian Assange. The right and the left, allegedly the right and the left, is going after Julian Assange. And we're ignoring everything Hillary, Obama, Joe Biden, and all these other criminals, James Comey, Andrew McKay. They were spying on a duly elected a president. To me, this tells me that Mike Pompeo knew what the CIA and the DOJ and the FBI was doing to Donald Trump. That's what this tells me. That tells me Mike Pompeo. Is one of them. Was making regular trips to Washington, D.C., to New York, to Las Vegas, reportedly to hand over thumb drives and to receive further instructions from his U.S. government handlers. In other words, during our meetings with Julian at the embassy, recordings of our confidential conversations and the contents of our electronic devices were being delivered into the hands of the United States government. I'm a New York lawyer. I have the right to assume that the U.S. government is not listening to my private and privileged conversations with my clients. And because how is it that Mike Pompeo was doing all this spying? He had this set up to spy on Julian Assange in an Ecuador embassy, but he didn't know what the hell the FBI and the rest of these folks was doing to the president who he's supposed to be working for. Trust no one when it comes to politics. These people are scumbags. Mike Pompeo is a scumbag. Now, I'm just interested to know is that if Julian Assange is such a criminal and what he did is such a hideous crime, nobody died with the, with the information. All, the information he released was truthful information. It exposed our dirty government. But if he's a criminal and he just released the information that Chelsea Manning did, why did Chelsea Manning able to go free, get a free sex change, and was able to leak the classified information. Barack Obama gave immunity to Chelsea Manning. After May, it's not clear what's next for Manning, but the White House said they did want to make sure that she had time to make adequate preparations to leave the prison that she's been at, the military prison.
Uh, so you just answered my next question then, Margaret, about do we know yet where Manning may go and what she might do after she's released? Well, we don't. We don't yet from the lawyers who we've reached out to, but not yet received that kind of detail. But what we do know is that there has been a legal argument that Chelsea Manning and her lawyers have been making to allow her to fully complete her gender transition uh, and undergo full surgery, something that she started and not finished. Uh, so you can imagine that that will continue to be a priority following her release in May as a civilian. Uh, but as for the particulars of where she's going to go, it's not clear yet. Why are they still going after Julian Assange then? Why was Mike Pompeo and the Obama administration both going after Julian Assange so strongly? Inquiring minds would love to know. Somebody got some explaining to do. This tells me that Mike Pompeo, who the Republicans, these, these phony Republicans keep passing him around. If he spied on Americans while he was the CIA director, I'm sure he did a bunch of dirt when he was the Secretary of State, just like Hillary Clinton did a bunch of dirt when she was the Secretary of State. Because Hillary, we don't know what they were doing in Benghazi. We know they were corrupt. We know they had a man, just say Gaddafi is a dirty scumbag. And? That's your reason to go over and assassinate him? What kind of national threat to our security was, was he? Not a threat to us whatsoever. Gaddafi was no threat to us. But just like Hillary, when she was the Secretary of State, was a scumbag. Mike Pompeo was a scumbag. For three years, he worked as the Secretary of State. I think for one year, he worked as the, uh, the CIA director. And he spied on Americans. Lawyers, citizens, whoever visited Judah and Assad had microphones and recording devices placed in there. And there has been a lot of gaslighting. For years when he was in the embassy, the refrain was that Julian was paranoid, that no one was trying to prosecute him. The only one that was keeping him in the embassy was himself. And as soon as he was arrested, the true reality was there for everyone to see. So it was extremely important that this came to light. The story has over 30 US intelligence officials, including very senior and named, going on record and saying that the US government was actively plotting to assassinate Julian inside the UK. This is- With those little bitty hands. You got some of the littlest hands for such a big man I've ever seen in my life. Why is his hand so tiny? I just kept looking, I'm saying like, damn, he got some little hands. I remember one time, remember when Marco Rubio called Donald Trump little hands. He got offended with that. But that might come pay for a big guy. He done lost weight now. But he got some awful little hands. But he admitted, he says, part of his job as a CIA, as a CIA director is to is to be trained how to lie. It reminds me, you would know this, well, as a, this is a bit of an aside, um, but in terms of how you think about problem sets, I, when I was a cadet, what's the first, what's the cadet motto at West Point? You will not lie, cheat, or steal, or tolerate those who do. I, I, I was the CIA director. We lied, we cheated, we steal, stole. It's, it was like, we, we, had, we, had entire, we had entire training courses. Uh, so this is why they can get on, that's why we can call Brenham Line, we call Clapper Line, because they, they're trained to lie. They'll look you straight in the face and lie. James Cumming, uh, Andrew McKay, they all Peter Strzok. They train to lie. Your intel community are professional liars. They teach these people how to lie without, without it being identified. But I know they lie because their mouth is moving. I don't believe nothing they say. And if you're stupid enough to believe Mike Pompeo just because he's got an R in front of his name, you're just as dumb as the Joe Biden supporters. You are. Mike Pompeo is a criminal. Mike Pompeo is a dirty politician. Now he wants to be president. And he said he don't care if Donald Trump is running. Proving again, he's the enemy. Oh, I bet you, Mr. Trump, your eyes better be wide open now. You had a bunch of enemies working in your camp. It wasn't just the Democrats who was his enemies. You had the Mitch McConnells, his wife working in there. You had, now this Mike Pompeo, piece of trash. You had his Filthy son-in-law, Jerry Kushner. You had his freaking liberal daughter. You had too many enemies working for you, Mr. Trump. And this proves we can never trust the CIA, the FBI, because they are criminals. This proves my case. He admitted to being a, a, a complete liar, a trained liar. That's what he said, not what I see. 
That's what he's saying. He's a train liar. And not only that, now there's a lawsuit filed saying that he was spying not only on regular citizens, which is bad enough. Lawyers who was representing Julian Assange, they were not only spying on them with a microphone. They took the data, confidential data, and extracted it from their devices when they were made to turn them over. And Mike Pompeo wants to be the president. Mike Pompey think you can trust him because these filthy, phony Republicans whose, whose heads are up there on behind, they're so sold out for the Republicans, the Democrats. All of them are dirty. I keep telling you this. There's very few who's not criminal-minded. We can never fix this country because the criminals are running intel, media, FBI. Almost all parts of the government is ran by a bunch of criminals. They haven't fixed a damn thing. All these years, go just look at the last 50 years. All these smart Harvard trained, I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Mike Pompeo went to Harvard. You got all these Yale trained, West Point trained, Harvard, Princeton trained lawyers, and they get up in here and all they do is they're very more equipped to, to steal, cheat, and lie to you. And I'm supposed to believe any damn thing they say. No, I don't believe them. See, if you start questioning everything they say, you can get to the bottom of the truth. If you stop just taking whatever some uh, news sites say, I don't care if it's conservative or republic. I don't look at the fact. Let me see what that says. Mm -hmm. Let me go look that up because I don't believe what you're saying. Because sometimes crafts and what's supposed to be the truth is their lies or they're trying to massage. Don't try to make Mike Pompey. Anybody tells you Mike Pompey is a good guy, don't trust anything they say. Because either they're lazy and don't want to do their research or they're on the, the wrong team. We're part of the right. What does that mean? You're not part of you part of the left. Because anybody who's criminal enough to be violating citizens and doing these types of things, you're not part of the good guys. You're part of the bad guys, you criminal you.